After selecting the Bruins over the Bulldogs on National Signing Day, this tweet might have been a little premature. Wow, Raquan Smith commits to UCLA. Hashtag Bruin Revolution. Hey, everyone. Welcome to our Campus Insider Studios. I'm Shay Pepler. And Smith, he has not yet sent in his letter of intent. That's why that tweet might have been a little premature. Supposedly, defensive coordinator Jeff Ulbrich was the one who built a strong relationship with Smith. And now rumor is Ulbrich is joining the Atlanta Falcons. Let's bring in our recruiting analyst, Alan True from Scout.com for more. And Alan, supposedly Smith was in the middle of signing his paperwork when the news trickled down to him. What's the latest you're hearing? Well, yeah, he got lucky. He hadn't sent that in yet. Unlike uh, a couple of other young men who were in the same situation, I think uh, currently where it stands is he's going to take some time to figure it out. I would not expect any, expect anything too soon. His high school coach said it was going to be about a week that they needed to talk some things over. He needed to speak uh, with his family some more. They're, he they said no new schools are going to be let in. It's the same four schools he was considering before: UCLA and Georgia, Michigan, as well as Texas A&M. Well, Alan, he's the number one rated linebacker by Scout.com that is, of course, originally was heading to Georgia. As I mentioned, any shot he flips back to the Bulldogs. I think there is a chance. I, I know that uh, folks down there don't seem quite as confident just because of the uncertainty of the situation. And UCLA is still trying very hard to keep him in the class. You would hope he picked the Bruins for more than just that relationship with Old Brick. So there's still a lot of confidence out West that he's going to end up a Bruin. But Georgia, I think, if it's not UCLA, they seem to be the second school in the mix right now. All right, Alan True, thanks so much for the insight. I'll talk to you soon. Absolutely. And for more surrounding National Signing Day and all things college football related, be sure to keep it locked right here on CanvasInsiders.com.